where we see the work going on behind us right now is where the road is going to be rerouted because uh, one of the Marriott chain hotels is going in there. So there will be a hotel that if, as we as we're looking at the camera right now, the camera's looking at that uh, next time, sometime next year, I suspect you'll see the hotel there. Uh, it's a Marriott, uh, I understand, a Marriott mid-level chain. So right now that road's closed because they're dynamiting the rock that needs to be mo removed in order to redirect the road around where the hotel is going to go. We um, unfortunately, uh, Skydev, the developer of the apartments, like everyone else, ran into challenges with regard to unions and some of the strikes they had to deal with regard to carpenters and plumbers and electricians. They were hopefully going to have it ready for this September, but uh, because of those delays, supply chain issues were a bit of a problem too. However, the first two apartments, as you can see behind me, uh, they're going to be ready it appears to be of uh, late spring, early summer of 2023. And right now there is a waiting list, as I understand it, approximately three weeks ago, a waiting list of about 200 that were waiting to get into the rental apartments. Um, they've started signing leases with those that were on the wait list. And I, I assume there'll be more and more coming with each day. Rentals even more so than everything, uh, are most difficult to find in Muskoka. So that's why I believe this is such a, uh, an important piece to Muskoka, to Gravenhurst, to provide rental accommodations, one and two bedroom apartments that are badly needed throughout Gravenhurst, but particularly throughout Muskoka. And the next project, big yeah. project as well for seniors, talk about that. Yeah, the, uh, the Alexander on Isaac Street, uh, they're making progress finally. Uh, I think many of the people that uh, have been out in Muskoka Bay in their boats or down at the wharf have noticed the work that's being done there. Um, my understanding uh, from what I hear is that those were, they're targeting 2024 for the first residents to move in. There's about 100 units. In that particular one, there are, uh, there are about, uh, I believe it's 12 or 13 affordable units that have been created as a result of funding from the federal government and the District of Muskoka. I do know in talking also to uh, Skydev with the apartments behind us that we're talking about now, they are also looking at the possibility of uh, approaching the District of Muskoka to see if they may be able to have, get some funding to create some of those 232 apartments as affordable. That's still to be done, no promises there, but they are uh, looking at and exploring that possibility.